And at number one, we have the Hermes Kelly bag, with prices starting at well over £6,500 for the Mini Kelly. The Hermes Kelly bag is one of the most valuable, sought after and coveted luxury bags of all time. The Hermes Kelly bag comes with a storied history and took over 50 years before it was officially named the Kelly. First introduced in 1935, the Kelly bag was originally called the Sac de Peches before it was catapulted to wealth status by fashion icon, American born actress turned Monica princess, Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly carried the bag everywhere. And on one occasion in 1956, she was photographed innovatively using the gorgeous accessory as a camouflage to hide her growing pregnancy from paparazzi. It was the public who actually named the Sac de Peches the Kelly bag, and it was eventually renamed the Kelly in 1977. The Kelly bag has a sculpted handle with a trapezoidal structured shape and curved edges. The Kelly also features two straps that meet over the front flap of the bag. The Kelly bag features triangular gusset sides and is made of three layers of leather. The Kelly bag opens up to a leather lined interior with a single open compartment and a zippered pocket on the rear side of the bag, in addition to two slip pockets. The Kelly is also adorned with signature hardware elements, from the clasp to the studded feet bottom and the lock and key that sits in a leather lanyard known as the clochette. The hardware is usually either gold plated or with a palladium finish. Other versions come in 24 karat plated gold or silver. Lastly, the famous gold stamp that says Hermes Paris gives the final seal. The Hermes Kelly bag is available in eight sizes with the number relating to the length of the base of the bag in centimeters. We have the Kelly 15, the Kelly 20, the Kelly 25, the Kelly 28, the Kelly 32, the Kelly 35, the Kelly 40 and the Kelly 50. The Kelly 40 and 50 tend to work better for travel. The most common size of the Kellys are the Kelly 25, the Kelly 28, the Kelly 32 and the Kelly 35. All great choices for everyday wear. The Kelly bag comes in two distinct styles, the Cellier and the Return style. The Cellier construction is the older and defined with a pointed out edge that reveals a clearly visible top stitching and resin edge coating, giving the Kelly a more rigid structure. This also gives the Kelly Cellier a more structured formal and ladylike look. The Kelly Cellier therefore comes in levers like Epson and box leather. The Return style has a softer, slouchier structure as the bag is sewn and then turned inside out, hiding the exterior side stitching and completed with a pipe and trim. The Return is typically produced in more supple and softer leathers like the Togo and Clements leather. The Kelly Cellier is also slightly more costly than the Return of the same size due to the bag shape. The original Kelly is referred to as Kelly 1 and is often sold with a shoulder strap and features a single ring design. The Kelly 2 was released from the 2000 and is an update to the original Kelly. This version features a double ring at the top handle designed to attach a shoulder strap. The Kelly bag is also offered in precious skins from crocodile to ostrich and a wide and vast array of every colour under the rainbow in various shades and hues. For almost a century, the Hermes Kelly bag has become an icon, transcending fashion as a keepsake and heirloom. And at number two, we have the Hermes Birkin bag, with prices starting at well over £7,000 for the Birkin 25. Hermes Birkin bags are amongst the most desired items in luxury fashion industry. The Hermes Birkin is named after a cultural icon the singer, actress and model Jane Birkin, an English actress based in France during the majority of her career. The Birkin came to existence following an exchange between Jane Birkin and former Hermes chief Jean-Louis Dumas, who met by chance on a flight from Paris to London in the early 80s. Jane explained to Dumas it was hard to find a leather weekend bag that she liked. Dumas suggested she needed one with pockets and this sparked a conversation about her ideal bag. Dumas immediately pulled out a pencil and an airplane sick bag, and the two designed a sketch for the Birkin. Hermes officially debuted the now iconic Birkin bag in 1984. The Birkin bag is an elegant and beautiful bag and features a sturdy structured boxy silhouette and precious metal hardware, typically offered in a gold, silver or palladium hardware, in addition to limited editions as well. The hardware includes the zip, 
which features the Hermes logo engraved on both sides of the slider, in addition to the solid metal feet called the clue. Hermes Birkin is crafted in a solid but supple leather with Hermes' signature saddle stitching. The Hermes Birkin bag features double top handles allowing you to carry your bag in your hand or on your arms, a buckled flat top and clasp, a key padlock fastening with the keys enclosed in a leather lanyard known as the clochette, attached by looping it through a handle. You can lock the Birkin by closing the top flaps over the buckle loops, wrapping the buckle straps or closing the lock on the front hardware. Many Birkin carriers also tuck the flap inside the bag and buckle the straps with the lock in front to show off the Hermes Made in France stamp. The Hermes Birkin opens up to a capacious and roomy unlined leather interior with two internal pockets and an open compartment, in addition to a large zipper pocket. The Hermes Birkin comes in a range of sizes from the 25 to the 30 to the 35 to the 40, with travel bags of 50 and 55 centimeters. The Birkin comes in a variety of materials and includes hides from box calf, Clements, Epsom, Togo leathers, to precious skins like ostrich and python skin. The Birkin also comes in a variety of colors, shades and hues, from black to gold tan and olive green. The Hermes Birkin bag is the ultimate status symbol of wealth. The exclusiveness of the Hermes Birkin bag is steeped in celebrating history, heritage, tradition and craftsmanship. And at number three, we have the Chanel 255, with prices starting at upwards of £3,650 for the mini bag and upwards of £7,550 for the medium size. The Chanel reissue 255 prototype was first released in 1925. Initially made from woolen fabric, a quilted jersey material and featured a rectangular twisting lock with very short straps which meant you could only carry it on the crook of your arm or as a clutch. Gabrielle Coco Chanel then updated and revamped the design she'd been involved in, and it wasn't until February 1955 that Coco Chanel debuted a shoulder-carried version of the bag, and the end product was called the 255 after the date and launch of the creation. The Chanel 255 was initially discontinued shortly after the release of the Chanel Classic Flat due to its popularity, but later, the late Karl Lagerfeld decided in 2005 to bring it back and called it the reissue 255 bag. Chanel released an exact duplicate of the original 255 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the original 255. The reissue 255 is offered in either a gold or silver metal all chain strap. Some gold hardware versions are offered in 20 to 24 karat gold plated solid brass. The reissue 255 features a burgundy coloured lining embroidered with Chanel's CC initials and a Chanel stamp logo on the inside, in addition to the Made in France or Made in Italy caption on the inside, usually identical to the colour of the metal used in the particular model's production. The Chanel reissue 255 has a square or rectangular shaped silhouette with a flat front that features a twist lock closure mechanism. The front lock in this Chanel style is called the Mademoiselle lock. The bag also features diamond or chevron quilted pattern stitching for durability. Traditionally, the 255 features double flaps, which means they have both the exterior flap closure and an interior flap compartment under the top flap. The Chanel Reissue 255 opens up to a main leather lined interior and has an outer flap pocket, and inside there are two flap pockets, one small pocket for smaller items like lipstick, and at the exterior of the bag, there is a slip pocket. In addition to zippered compartments at the inside of the front flap, ideal for storing love letters, which Coco Chanel is rumored to have done with her own 255 bag. The reissue 255 is usually crafted in two leather options, aged calf skin, leather, or caviar leather. Chanel's aged calf skin is less likely to show scratches or marks. It has a fairly soft yet durable texture that holds up its shape for several years. Since the debut of the reissue 255, there has been several variations and it has been reimagined and revitalized in different colors, leathers and fabric combinations. The Chanel reissue is available in an array of classic colors from black, gray and white to primary colors like red and blue and more. The reissue 255 is available in five sizes, the 224, the 225, the 226, the 227 and the 228. 
with the 228 can be discontinued. The 224 is the small size, the 225 is the medium, the 226 is the large size, and the 227 is the jumbo size. Although the name reissue only applied to the commemorative handbags, it is now used as a name for all the handbags that look like the original reissue 255. The Chanel reissue 255 holds the history and longevity of a true icon. The bag is not only the most iconic bag from the fashion house, but is also one of the most iconic handbags in the fashion world as a pioneer. And at number four, we have the Louis Vuitton Armour, with prices starting at upwards of £1,260 for the BB size. Created in 1934 by Gaston Louis Vuitton, the Louis Vuitton Armour bag was actually rumoured to be a custom-made bag at the request of Gabrielle Chanel. But it wasn't until years later that Coco Chanel gave her permission to manufacture the bag for general consumption of all fashionistas. The Armour is a practical and compact trapezoidal bag with a long base evolved from the Louis Vuitton streamer bag. Although the Armour is now one of the most recognisable handbags in the world, it has taken several decades for this model to evolve. It was first redesigned in 1950s and called the name Sac Marceau. It was then redesigned to be more compact and modernised for everyday use and renamed the Squire bag. An additional year, few years later, it was renamed the Sac Champ Elise. Yet again, the bag model reappeared in 1992 with an updated and revitalised design and slimmer profile, decked out in Louis Vuitton's signature monogram canvas and given the name Alma, a tribute to Place the Alma, a landmark spot in the tree-lined square in Paris, where the Avenue Montaigne meets the Seine in the Paris high fashion district. The Alma bag is a capacious and functional bag with a wide opening. The Alma bag opens up to an interior lines with microfiber with two inside compartments. The Alma also features many elements of gold hardware, including the sturdy studs at the bottom of the bag and zippers. Since 1992, the Alma has appeared in different finishes, fabrics and colors, adding to the appeal of the Alma. A sleek and chic bag, sophisticated enough to elevate any outfit. The Alma is offered in a variety of colors, prints, graphics and limited edition designs too. The Alma is available in different materials from the classic monogram canvas to the monogram Venice and epi leather. The Alma is available in five sizes that suit and serve different purposes in different fashionistas. The Alma comes in sizes from the Nano, BB, PM, MM and GM. The BB meaning ban Bebe Bandelier, which is French for baby shoulder. The BB version has a detachable shoulder strap, which means fashionistas now have a bag with even more utility and versatility. The PM size stands for Petite Model in French, meaning small model. The MM stands for Median Model, Moyenne Model. The size along with the PM are the most popular size. The Grand Model, the GM size, is the largest size, a popular size for travel. The Alma is a lovely, sophisticated bag that is timeless and classic. And at number five, we have the Dior Lady Dior, with prices starting at upwards of 3000 £900 for the small size. Since its debut, the Lady Dior handbag has never stopped turning heads. The Lady Dior bag is un undeniably a classic bag, a bag fit for a princess. This iconic bag was actually endorsed and elevated by the style and elegance of a real-life princess and became one of the favourite chosen accompanying bags of one of the world's most adored princesses. The original Lady Dior bag was debuted in 1994 under the creative director of Gianfranco Fur. The elegant bag was yet to be named and was officially called the Shushu, a French term of endearment which in English means favourite. Bernadette Chirac, France's former first lady, is said to have asked the world-renowned Dior to make a special item for Princess Diana for her visit to France as she wished to give her a unique gift for the occasion as a token of French culture. The house offered her the Shushu and it was created in leather for the first time and completed from start to finish in record time in a single night. The bag was presented to the princess at the inauguration of the Paul Cézanne exhibition at the Grand Palais in Paris. And Diana absolutely loved it from its first appearance and from that moment onwards. The Lady Dior made history and was catapulted to iconic bag status. The larger series was officially launched in 1996, paying homage to Princess Diana, when the Dior Fashion House officially changed the name of the Shushu to the Lady Dior bag. The Lady Dior bag is one of the cornerstones of the Dior Fashion House and imbues all the Dior house codes with its classic timeless design and luxurious, elegant silhouette. The Lady Dior is boxy and squarey with a rigid silhouette and features two structured arch top handles, logo charms adorned with a decorative, sparkling metal charm jewellery, each charm making up the four letters of the name Dior hanging from the handles. The hardware and the metallic charm is usually offered in gold or silver tone, which adds to the brilliance of the iconic bag. 
Limited edition includes champagne hardware or a light blend of pale gold. The hardware zippers and plaque also carries the initials of Monsieur Dior. The bag also comes with protective studded feet. The Lady Dior is also adorned with Dior House's signature canage motif. The canage pattern inspired by Napoleon's the third shares used by Christian Dior to welcome his clientele into his atelier at his first show in 1947. The Lady Dior bag has been reimagined and revitalized countless times. The Lady Dior bag is now available in five different sizes, ranging from the Lady Dior Micro, the Lady Dior Mini, which was introduced in 2015, the Lady Dior Medium, the Lady Dior Large, and the Large Dior Lady Shopping Tote. This making the bag versatile, giving you more options to carry the bag over the shoulder as a crossbody, as well as in your arm. In essence, the Lady Dior bag has not changed over the years, but each season, it is revitalized in different types of leather materials, from soft cast skin, sheep skin, to delicate embroidery and luxurious velvet, in addition to microfiber, satin, denim, and precious skins like python and crocodile. The Lady Dior bag is also available in a vast array of colors, standard, classic, and pastel colors also. There are also buy and tricolored versions in addition to the limited editions. With a few amendments and updates, the Lady Dior still remains one of the true classic and iconics from Dior. Synonymous with style, elegance and beauty, the Lady Dior is rich in history and heritage. And at number six, we have the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bag, with prices starting at upwards of £1,060 for the 25 size. When introduced, the Speedy was an instant success. But before the Speedy came into existence, its precursor was the Keeple. George Vuitton invented the signature Keeple as the perfect travel companion as an overnight weekend bag. The Keeple model was so popular that soon after a smaller version, under the name the Express, was created. The Express was a pure travel accessory, designed for more personal effect, so that travellers could keep their travel essentials close. The Express was then adapted once again to meet the demands of the busy woman of the time. With that, in 1932, the Express was referred to and renamed to the Speedy. A year after its debut, Louis Vuitton reintroduced the Speedy in the monogram canvas. Even though the Speedy bag continued to grow in popularity, it can be argued that it did not become the timeless iconic bag it is today until Audrey Hepburn was seen carrying one in the 1960s. The actress requested Louis Vuitton create a custom Speedy model that was smaller than the original 30. Louis Vuitton obliged and created a smaller version of the Louis Vuitton Speedy, the Speedy 25. When the Speedy 25 of Audrey Hepburn was introduced, the demand for the Speedy soared and its fate was sealed. The Speedy is now available in five different sizes, with the number referring to the width of the base of the bag. There is the Nano, the Audrey Hepburn Speedy 25, the original 30, the 35 and the 40. The Nano Speedy was originally referred to as the Mini until 2019 and also features a non-detachable crossbody strap. The Speedy 25 is a popular size due to its practical nature but is not oversized. The Speedy 30 is a compact handbag, ideal for everyday use and perfect for carrying all your essential larger items. The Speedy 35 works well as a bag for more than your essentials and the Speedy 40 is the largest size and a good option as a small weekend or travel bag. The Speedy bag is one of the most unique Louis Vuitton bags that is made from one large piece of fabric from front to back when designed with the monogram canvas. As a result, there are no seams on the bottom of the bag and the back of the bag features the LV monogram logo upside down. The silhouette of the Louis Vuitton Speedy is inspired by the Boston bag, a slightly dome-shaped bag. The Speedy is commonly crafted in the sturdy monogram structured waterproof tear and scratch resistant canvas with a natural vachetta trim on the double torrent top handles in addition to the piping and the tapers of the bag from the rectangular bottom. The vachetta leather, being an untreated premium cowhide leather, will receive a full patina and darken with frequent use. The Speedy opens up to an interior material made of canvas or microfiber with one large main compartment without dividers making the bag extremely versatile for every use. Each Speedy bag is also adorned with brass hardware. The Speedy is typically available in the monogram canvas, the Demier Ebene, the Demier Azure print and the Epi leather. Over the years, the Speedy has become available in several more materials, including the Nomad leather, the black multicolor, the white multicolor and the monogram on Priom leather. In addition to limited editions, the Speedy got a small transformation with the introduction of a large shoulder strap 
with the speedy bandolier. The bandolier meaning with a strap in French as the perfect option for the modern woman needing a bag offering hands-free usage. In 2015, Louis Vuitton decided to redesign the speedy monogram, updating it to align with modern use. Now on some speedy bags, there's an interior zipper pocket and a redesigned handle base chap. The Louis Vuitton Speedy has endured the test of time and trend to remain one of the most iconic bags in fashion history. And at number seven, we have the Chanel Classic Flat. With prices starting at upwards of £7,090 for the small size and upwards of £7,550 for the medium size. From the expert craftsmanship to the beautiful and rich history behind this bag, the Chanel Classic Flat is most definitely a classic and timeless forever bag. The story of the Chanel Classic Flat Bag is rooted in the creation of the Chanel 255 Bag. The original 255 had been redesigned multiple times over the years, but the most significant adaptation was created by the late Karl Lagerfeld in 1983. He introduced a new version of the 255 called the Chanel Classic Flat, also known as the 1112. Lagerfeld made a few changes to the 255 to make the elegant and timeless Chanel Classic Flat, updating the bag with a few distinctive features. Innovatively changing the classic square twisting lock of the 255, known as the Mademoiselle lock, to the iconic interlocking CC lock clasp hardware. One of the main characteristic differences between the 255 and the Chanel Classic Flap. Staying true to the original while showcasing its own sophisticated flair signature. Currently, the most common colours in the hardware are silver gold, light gold and so black hardware edition. The Chanel Classic Flap also features an interwoven shoulder strap of both leather and metal hardware, another distinctive feature that separates it from the 255. The Chanel Classic Flap also comes in two variations, a double or single flap. The single flap version only consists of the main exterior flap. The double flap encompasses an extra interior flap that can be detached from the interior and separates it from the main exterior flap. The Chanel Classic Flap also features several pockets, seven compartments making it very practical. There is the curved rear pocket, actually nicknamed the Mona Lisa Smile, one flat front pocket, two interior gusseted pockets with a little pocket in the middle designed to hold smaller items, one concealed pocket between the double flap at the inner flap and the zippered pocket, otherwise known as the secret pocket. The Chanel Classic Flap features the signature burgundy leather on the interior with the embroidered CC initials inside and the Made in France stamp. The Chanel Classic Flap is typically available in two leather skins, the sample lamb skin as well as the caviar leather, recognizable by its unique texture, which is treated, grain calf skin, made to resist water, whilst the lamb skin is known for its buttery smooth finish and delicate nature. In addition, the leathers are available in two quilting styles, the classic diamond quilting and the chevron quilting. Both of these classic flaps are available in a fast and great variety of colors. The Chanel Classic Flap is available in a plethora of sizes, from the mini square to the mini rectangle, to the small, the medium, the large jumbo and the maxi, with the medium remaining arguably one of the most popular size options. Chanel also sometimes do limited editions to honour and celebrate special collections, which can offer different hardware options like iridescent metals. The cost of the Chanel Classic Flap can vary depending on the leather type, colour or size, and more exotic and uncommon leathers command a higher premium. The Classic Flap is a versatile and elegant transition bag, easily taking you from day to night and can be worn over the shoulders, on the arms or held in your arm, hands as a crossbody. The Classic Flap is a bag that has stood the test of time and fashion. And at number 8 we have the Fendi Peekaboo bag, with prices starting at upwards of £2,850 for the Fendi Peekaboo I See You Petite Size and upwards of £3,200 for the Fendi Peekaboo Mini. The Fendi Peekaboo bag debuted on the runway for the Spring-Summer 2009 collection and was created by Sylvia Venturini Fendi, the granddaughter of Adele and Eduardo Fendi, who is credited with designing and launching one of Fendi's most timeless and iconic bags. The Fendi Peekaboo bag was envisioned as a timeless heirloom, a classic that can be passed on to the next generation. Fendi has imagined and revitalised the Fendi Peekaboo season after season, solidifying its appeal to women from all generations. Famed for its iconic design, the Peekaboo bag takes its name from the popular children's game Hide and Seek, and also gets its name from its unusual construction, where the two internal compartment halves are divided in the middle by a rigid partition by a metal bar. 
This creates a front flap that can be pushed down to reveal the central partition and the artistry of the bag inside. This gives the peekaboo an element of surprise as it gives you a peek revealing the interior with the engraved Fendi logo plate. The Fendi peekaboo is a sleek, classic and timeless design. The peekaboo is crafted from a smooth or grained calfskin leather and opens up to a Nappa leather lined interior with two big spacious compartments, an inner zippered pocket and elements of gold hardware, including the twist lock on the front and the back of the bag to keep it securely fastened, in addition to the metal stud feet to protect the base. The Fendi Peekaboo bag is a versatile bag that features a single top handle and an adjustable detachable shoulder strap in the micro and mini size, which means it can be either carried by hand or worn over the shoulder or as a crossbody. The Fendi Peekaboo has been released in various fabrics, leathers and materials, from supple veal skin to snake skin and raffia, suede, corduroy, leather and canvas. From sophisticated black patent leathers to the classic red and blue ones, the Fendi Peekaboo is available in more than 1,000 materials and an unlimited colour palette. The popularity of the Fendi Peekaboo bag has produced a foray of sizes, from the large to the regular to the mini and the micro. The micro is the smallest size suitable for all your essentials on a night out. The mini and the regular are ideal as everyday bags. The large size is the biggest and perfect for any busy woman on the go, ideal for any professional work settings and all your everyday work items. The Fendi Peekaboo also consists of a collection including the Fendi Peekaboo Celeria, a simple and structured version of the Peekaboo. Also available is the higher end Peekaboo Essential and the Peekaboo Essentially, a smaller sized essential. Lastly, there is the Peekaboo I See You bag, also a spin-off that is inspired by the children's game Peekaboo I See You. One of the most distinctive features of the Peekaboo I See You are the customizable interior pockets, which are also removable and interchangeable into smooth leathers or precious skin. The Peekaboo I See You bag is a fresh take on the iconic Peekaboo and it's the most playful yet perfect for fashionistas looking for a more personalised option. Available in three sizes including the medium, east, west and the pochette. The Peekaboo is a simple, complex and timeless bag. The appeal lies in its understated sophistication and elegance with a discreet if you know you know appeal as it's not loud or embossed with any logos. The Peekaboo is a testament to the bag's timeless look and Fendi's quality craftsmanship has proven to stand the test of time. And at number nine, we have the Delvo Brillion bag. With prices starting at upwards of £4,600 for the mini size. Le Brillion bag was created in 1958 as part of Delvo's collection for when Brussels hosted the World Fair. Said to be inspired by the Philips Pavilion, a remarkable structure designed by the office of Le Cabousier by Swiss French architect Charles Eduardo Genere, with the building fittingly named Le Brillion. Elegant and sophisticated, the beautiful Brillion bag has won over hearts of the elites and socialites for more than six decades. Le Brillion is a true masterpiece and available in at least seven different sizes, starting from the Brillion charms that measure at 8.5 centimeters, the mini, the PM, the MM, more for everyday use, and the large GM. There is also the East West that comes in two sizes, with an East-West Mini Brillion and a regular East-West Brillion, as well as the Double Handle Brillion, not widely available, and the Brillion Black Edition that spans 36 centimeters. Most sizes are offered with an additional adjustable and removable shoulder strap, which gives the bag multi-purpose carrying options. The Brillion bag is commonly available in box calf to cellier leathers, with different leathers giving Le Brillion a very different aesthetic and allure. The box calf and the pression skin gives the Brillion bag a highly sophisticated look, while more supple hides such as the Rodeo and Crispy Car gives it a softer appearance. The exotic skins offered include skins like Alligator, Lizard and Ostrich skin. You can also have the bag custom made with a combination of exotic skins too. Le Brillion is also available in a wide array of colours, from your standard black and white to the more rich and unusual colours, with more shades and hues introduced each year. Le Brillion is also available in a matte, shiny or metallic finish. The Brillion bag is a sturdy bag with a trapezoidal structured shaped silhouette and features a single rolled top handle and a top flap with a D-shaped buckle closure. The Brillion bag always features the signature D-shaped buckle no matter the pattern or material. The signature buckle remains the same. The buckle fastening system is one of a kind and it can be also offered with embellished pearls crystals, two-tone or monochrome metallic finishes. The Brillion buckle can transform with every collection. 
The Brillion bag opens up to an interior lined with smooth leather and one compartment with zip pockets, slip pockets and a keyring holder. And the Brillion bag has spawned many limited editions like the Maxi Brillion Bag Edition and the Le Brillion Diva Bag available in red and or black adorned with specially made gold buckles and hinge frame. There's also the Brillion Magic Rainbow Bag which features a leather structure design that opens up to reveal an interior of accordion pockets in an array of colours from lilac, nude and citron. Other Brillion limited editions include the miniaturised Little Bitty Brillion series and the miniature Beltitude, a collection of seven miniature versions of Le Brillion bags paying tribute to the international cities that Delvo calls home, like Anvers, Bruges and Gondes. And there are other limited editions paying homage to the countries around the world, showcasing cultural gems celebrating Korea, Italy, Japan, the US, the UK and France. The Brillion bag is a perfect finishing touch to every outfit, a beautiful bag for all seasons. From the classic to the fanciful, the Brillion bag has been reimagined multiple times, but still exudes the sophistication and elegance with the unique Delvaux savoir-faire and superior mastery that makes it highly desired and confetted for those looking for stealth luxury pieces. And at number 10, we have the Gucci bamboo bag, with prices starting at upwards of £2,230 for the mini size. One of the world's very first gift bags can be arguably said to be the Gucci bamboo bag. Few bags are as recognisable and as creative as the curved semicircular handle of the famous Gucci bamboo bag, which helps catapult Gucci to worldwide recognition. The famous Gucci bamboo bag was designed and released in 1947 in select Gucci boutiques. Wartime rations created material shortages in 1947 impacting the fashion industry, including Gucci, due to the fact that the materials to create bags were limited. However, Gucci artisans found an innovative solution and created a new bag design that could be produced despite the embargoes. They came up with the brilliant idea to incorporate bamboo into their handbags. Gucci found and used bamboo which was extremely durable and easily imported from Japan to craft their luxury handbags. The usage of bamboo was also reduced the amount of leather to make the bag and the cost. The bamboo handles were synonymous with Gucci from the 1940 onwards. And the iconic design is an example of the out-of-the-box thinking from Gucci artisans. The Gucci bamboo bag's wooden handle and clasp was an exotic and unusual element of the luxury industry at the time. All bamboo handles are still handcrafted by trained artisans in the Gucci ateliers using an intricate process. Due to this meticulous process, no two bamboo handles is ever the same. The distinctive and sophisticated design of the Gucci bamboo bag caught the attention of many socialites and was an instant hit during the 1950s and 60s. It became a favourite for celebrities and royalty alike. The handle is then attached to the top of the leather frame and body of the small structured rounded Gucci bag. The Gucci bamboo bag is crafted from calfskin leather, formerly pigskin, and the Gucci bamboo bag opens up to a fabric lined interior with one compartment and two inner pockets. The Gucci bamboo bag comes in a variety of colours, shades and hoods, and is available in three sizes, a mini, small and a medium. More than several decades after the conception of the Gucci bamboo bag, it has managed to survive passing fashion fads and trends. The Gucci bamboo bag is the fashion house's cornerstone design and still remains a favourite today as an essential part of the identity of the Gucci fashion house that will forever leave a distinguished legacy in the brand.